speech-language therapy. The ability to speak, some people say, is one thing that makes us human. There are four processes used to create speech. Respiration, phonation, resonance, and articulation. After our brain thinks of what it wants to say and then creates a motor plan, first, we use respiration or breathing. This is the energy behind our speech. What's amazing is that our inhale to exhale ratio at rest is about 50-50 or 40 to 60 percent. For speech, our inhale to exhale ratio is 10 percent to 90 percent, meaning we inhale 10 percent of our capacity and then exhale 90 percent. How does this work? In order for us to speak and sing, we need a lot of air to support our long sentences. Normally, exhales are passive, but for speech and singing, it becomes active. Our diaphragm becomes involved and it pushes up and our abdominal muscles contract to help force the air out. Speech pathologists work with people to strengthen these muscles to increase speech loudness. The next process that happens is phonation or voicing. Every person has a pair of vocal cords or vocal folds that sit about here and are above the trachea, which are above the lungs. Vocal folds, when pushed together and have air from the lungs forcing them open, will vibrate at a very fast rate and that's what creates sound. Overuse or abuse of the vocal folds, surgery, accidents, or disease can create voice disorders that speech therapists treat. What makes you sound like you is much more than just your vocal folds. Once the sound is created, it will flow up through cavities in your head. One is in your throat, one is your mouth cavity, and one is your nose or nasal cavity. You can manipulate these spaces to change how your voicing sounds. The last process that creates speech is articulation. This is what most people know speech therapists work with. Articulation is how we shape the sound with our mouths to create words. It's when the parts of our mouth or articulators touch or articulate with each other. The main articulator is the tongue. Some others are the lips, the teeth, cheeks, and the palate. To recap, there are four things that take place to create human speech. First, we have our lungs or our breath support give the energy behind our voice. Next, we phonate right here in your throat to create sound. And then we have resonance where the sound flows up through the different parts of your head. And then we have articulation where we shape the sounds to sound like whatever language it is that we speak. Speech therapists work in all areas that we've covered today. If you know anyone who has a voice disorder, whose speech sounds different, maybe they've had a brain injury or a stroke or they have a progressive disease, let them know that they can work with a speech therapist to improve their speech and their intelligibility. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps you understand how we speak and I will see you next week.